Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JMO Reacts. I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to be reacting to Stranger Things Season 3, Episode 3. Uh, now, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up before I uh, get going. I am feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, I was running a fever earlier, but uh, I'm, I'm doing okay now, but I still feel a little bit under the weather. So, um, just if you notice anything off, that's that's what it is. Um, but I, I feel alright, guys. So, um, last time on, we uh, we kind of had the... Uh, what, what happened? Uh, we had, um, we found out that the, the, the music in the mall was in the background of the message, so I'm assuming that there's, um, something with the Russians are going on inside the mall, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, Elle broke up with, um, Mike, and Hopper was on a non-date, but date, and Joyce missed it, so... Um, I'm not really gonna say much else. I'm ready to get into this episode. If you'd like to show your support, you can like, subscribe, or even join my Patreon. We have options for polls, full reactions, and up to four weeks of early access. So, if you're interested in that at all, the link will be in the description down below. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get to this episode. Oh, I hope they take us back. <laughs> God, what, what did she? Did she break up with Lucas? Oh yeah, she can spy on them and see what they're doing. Lucas, no, no. I'm just saying, I'm serious. Oh, they're picking on who to spy on. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Is he gonna be able to see her or something? He gonna be able to see the monster? I wonder if he's gonna be able to see her. Huh. Yeah, she is. Man. So I went and saw Scott. Scott? Who's Scott? Scott Clark. Your child science teacher? He's pretty brilliant, actually. Oh, man. Poor Hopper. You've outdone yourself, Joyce. You really have. No, you've outdone. <laughs> I mean, she's right. It is something very important. What if it's them? To build a machine like this? You need resources. Take me back there. To the lab. Yeah, I want to go back. Because some magnets fell off your fridge. Yes. I don't I don't think it's them, obviously. We know it's probably has to do something with the mall. I don't think they're back at the lab by any means, but I mean she's right. There is something going on. Uh, but you know, I understand Hopper being upset, but he also has to understand like especially in this town, weird coincidences are not just weird coincidences, you know. It's just ice. It's probably for his mother. He likes it cold. Oh, jeez. Ah, this is creepy, man. Oh, man. Big. Bigger than one article. In fact, I think this has got to be a book. Mm. The Mysterious Case of the Missing Fertilizer. A Nancy Drew mystery. Oh, jeez. I should have known that was not real. Oh, no, my arm. Lucas, look, my arm. We all live on as heroes in the memories of the calamar. Victory. Poor Will, man. He's just trying to have a good time. And we were never gonna get girlfriends? That we are just gonna sit in my basement all day and play games for the rest of our lives? I guess I did. I really did. So, okay, so there's, you know, yeah, it's unrealistic to think that they would never, that would never happen. I understand the sadness too, but I also think that Mike and Lucas could be making more of an effort to kind of at least have you know, still something, you know, but, because they haven't done it in a while, but, uh, but the occasional, that's okay, but it's also unrealistic of Will to assume that they're just supposed to stay, um, stay young and do all that stuff forever, but, you know, I get it. Man, that is creepy. Anybody home? Come in peace. Oh, uh, yeah, that's where Bob died, isn't it? Jeez. Mm. 
Interesting. Target acquired. Where? Ten o'clock. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a fake out. I don't think that's actually someone. Too close. Watch it, Dick Watt. Me and Assassin's Creed. Those are the most annoying missions in Assassin's Creed, the one where you have to trail someone. I hate those missions. All right, everyone, listen up. I just have one. Yeah, I thought so. Who is ready to sweat? <laughs> It'd be funny if that was a double fake out and that's actually the freaking Russian. I mean, obviously he doesn't have a Russian accent, but that'd be funny if that was like, it's like a double fake out and he's actually the one behind it. Hmm. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Uh, okay. 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 A trip to China nice. Ah, like a Chinese restaurant or something? On the food court? In yellow. Meat in the West. West. It's yellow. In the West. Huh. Man, she's smart. What are you doing? I cracked it. Cracked what? I cracked the code. Yeah, man, she's good. I like her. Give it to him. A rubber rat? Gonna give them a rat? The real rat. Driscoll's rat. Well, about that. She's gonna be dead when you go back. He said he's fixing up your house to put it on the market. Hmm. You have people that know what you've been through. You have people that care about you. Like people like Scott Clark. That was a joke. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. That was a really sweet scene. This is also horrifying. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's a cool shot. I like that shot a lot. Like I said, man, I, I totally get where he's coming from. And I think there's a balance that they can find. It is unfair for him to think that they can just completely stay the way they are, they were. It's part of growing up that you kind of grow out of that. This is a joke. <laughs> but, ah, oh, well. But I get it. I mean, it's hard. And th there is a more of a balance. Ah, oh, he's gonna break down his whole fort. There's more of a balance than what they have right now, but, um, yeah. Oh, this poor lady's probably dead. Well, this will be a, definitely be a story if she ends up being dead. Jeez, I'm so scared for some reason. This thing is probably gone by now, but... Ah! Is it, is it the lady? Did she get turned into something? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Oh gosh. Damn. They really are armed to the teeth. You dummies. Oh, it's the Russian. Jesus, that scared me. Holy crap. Oh, man. Yeah, by the way, guys, I realized that this is the guy that was in the first one that, like, tri put that guy in a chokehold. The Terminator freaking dude. I know that now, in case you guys were wondering. Hopper. Hey, he even drives a mo- Oh, well, we knew that. He has a motorcycle helmet. And by the way, I've never seen the Terminator, but I do know like references. Oddly enough, I know the references from a, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, and they had like the parody of uh, the Terminator and and all that. I've never actually seen the movies, but I know it from like from that, and of course, pop culture references. So is this her house? Jeez, 
Man, this this episode's really creepy, man. Oh, she's the daughter of the the reporter or news guy. Oh man. Max. This is my sister Maxine. He's acting quite normal. Well, they're a little burnt, I'm sorry. Heather, this is my sister Maxine. And I'm sorry, I did not quite catch your name. Ugh. They're fresh out of the oven. Ma'am. That's creepy. Are they gonna turn the parents? Ah, uh, man. Now he knows about L. Oh, is he having these visions? Interesting. That's not good at all. I'm gonna try to get her now. That would be scary. L on like turn to the dark side. He's back. <sighs> Man. They don't know the light head is though. So they put something in the cookies. Yeah, they are gonna turn them. I'm just gonna go stairs and lie down for a bit. Man. Crap. Holy moly. Man. This is crazy. It'll all be over soon. I promise. Can't say I feel bad for him. He's kind of a dick, but... Wow. Crazy episode. Uh, I don't know if the camera was messed up that entire time, uh, but... Hopefully not. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. It was a little bit tilted, I recognize, there at the end. But anyway, guys, that was episode um that was episode three of season three. Uh that was a that was a pretty crazy episode. I, I uh So now Billy knows about L. Uh and even had the visions that, that she was the one. So he's completely taken over. I don't think it's almost even him at all. I think it's probably like the monster talking, like how it was talking through Will and was like able to act like the its host. Um, and I mean, I think that's going to be like that for all of them. Um, so they're basically building an army. It seems like that's what they kind of implied in the first episodes too. Um, um, I don't remember her name, but the old lady that, uh, that caught the rat, we obviously knew that the rat had gotten out and it turned into something completely different, but I guess it, she somehow got turned because from that rat. Uh, she was eating the fertilizer, which was horrifying, like, that image, and, like, oh, man, that, that was, that was, like, bone chilling. That was really creepy. I mean, obviously, now it's implied that the rats can turn, um, humans by themselves. I thought, like, that wasn't possible that, you know, because that's why Billy's bringing them all down to there for that other monster to, like, attach to them and everything like that. But maybe... Yeah, but it, it, maybe it's different though because like she didn't seem like Billy or um or I can't I'm not good with names but like Billy and the girl like where she, they were like somewhat in control of it she seemed like almost zombified um because of it so maybe it's a different type of transformation they're they're not intelligent um maybe it's just like the that thing that was the rat kind of takes over so it still has like the same type personality but takes on a bigger host uh that's my only guess as far as that goes but. Uh, cause, cause I mean, Billy, I mean, Billy acted weird and, and everything like that, but he never like, um, at least we never saw him like acting completely like that. So I, I don't know how that works. The whole, um, Will storyline this episode, I, I mean, I've said in the reaction, it, it, both sides I think are correct because I mean, they're both wrong and they're both incorrect. Um. So it is, I think it is unrealistic for Will to think that things can stay the same forever. Like the exact same way things, they, um, the exact same way that they were like when they were growing up. Um, because, you know, people grow up, they, they get girlfriends, they eventually get, you know, married, they or move on or whatever. They, they, they grow up, you know, but that does not mean that you can't have fun. You can't, it doesn't mean you can't play D&D &D every now and again. It's just schedules get busier. Pretty much is what I'm saying. I mean... I don't think it's necessarily like I think they just gotta figure out a balance because I, I I don't think they have to like stop doing all the fun things they were doing by any means I don't think even adults really have to do that 
um, completely, you know, but it's just, you also have to realize that they are growing up and there are other things that come into life that, that take up time and you can't just do the same things you did as a kid. So I think that Mike needs and Mike and, and Lucas need to work at being a little bit more balanced, um, and being able to find time for, um, for, you know, the friend group and, and doing some of the fun things that you guys used to do. But Will also has to understand that they are growing up and things do change, um, at least slightly, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't have as much time because you have other things on your plate. So that's my thoughts on it. Um, Hopper was fighting the Russian. I do, uh, by the way, guys, I know that that is now, I mean, it's the same guy from last episode with the motorcycle helmet. I now, I'm pretty sure that's the same guy that was in the first episode when we first saw the Russians and he, like, killed the guy by holding him up. Um, I, I, I think I know that's the same guy now. If it's not, then I'm wrong, but I'm almost positive it is. Um, so I do know that now, guys. I know you guys probably were, were wondering. Um, so he was in the lab. I don't know what his purpose for being there could be, because it did look completely sealed up. It doesn't look like they have any operations out of there. Um, in fact, it seems like they have the operations at that mall where, you know, they bought, you know they figured out that code. Um, and I really like her, by the way, the being able to figure out that code. I don't know what the business they had at the, at the, um, the lab would be everything was sealed up but um i don't know i don't know what that is um but like i said they did uh dustin and steve and i cannot remember her name eventually i'll get it if she's a reoccurring character it's just like whenever i you know new characters are hard for me to remember names it took me forever to figure out joyce's name um but she's really smart she figured that out so it seems like it's all being run out of the mall they're armed and everything so um, I don't know what's happening because the machine that at least I thought we have been seeing was, um, in Russia, but maybe they are making one in Hawkins. Um, that would be it because I mean, that's what Joyce has been going on with the, you know, the magnetizing thing and that there could be a machine big enough to do that. So that would make sense. Um, and we also got someone looking in the lab, like the camera got turned on, so they got to be looking from somewhere. So I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm assuming there must be a a machine like what we saw in Russia in Hawkins, um, and where the mall is. That's the only thing I can assume. But they are armed out of the out of the wazoo, and uh, I don't know what these three are going to be able to do. Eventually, all the stories are going to converge. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they converge and. Because, I mean, obviously, I feel like one's causing the other. So we have the whole Russian situation where I, I supposedly they're trying to open the upside down. Don't know the motive. Don't know any of that. But we also have this other thing going on with, with Billy and him taking over all these people. And the two events are occurring at the same time. So I believe that they must, you know, be a cause and effect situation. Um, but I don't know if the Russians are intending to do that. You know what I mean? Whether it's just a side effect of them trying to open it up. So this whole thing happened in the, like below the warehouse thing, like that whole thing happened with the rats and everything else. Or if that is a part of their, their idea, like, I, I don't know why that would be, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. But yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a very twisty turny episode, very creepy episode for me. At least it gave me a lot of chills, little creeps. Um, but I did enjoy it, um, and I'm really enjoying the season, actually, it's, it has the right amount of suspense, and, you know, um, I'm actually really enjoying seeing the different sides of the characters and no longer kids and everything like that, I'm kind of enjoying that, um, and kind of seeing them grow up and, and you know what I mean, like, have different issues, and, um, it's just interesting to see, um. Because not only are we watching the characters grow up, we're watching the actors grow up, and and as they they grow up, and you know they they you know develop their acting skills and 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 all that. So it's very interesting to watch, and, I, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and I'll, I'll comment on Joyce and, and Hopper. I I hope that works out, but I completely understand the Joyce um, being hesitant. I mean, she's still having those thoughts about Hopper, but they did have a really sweet scene. Uh, we find out that she was planning that she is planning on potentially moving. Um, 
I doubt that will end up happening, but it's always possible. So uh, it just kind of gives us the thought of where, where Choices Headspace is, and Hopper obviously doesn't want that to happen because I think he's really, you know, kind of fallen for her. So um, we'll see. We'll see how we'll see how everything goes, and uh, see how what if Hopper's able to put together also with this whole Russian thing if he's going to get involved and figure that whole thing out. Because um, he did, I believe, see that guy. If he got a good look at him, he saw that guy at uh, at Town Hall. Um, I believe. Yeah, maybe he's able to put two and two together. Um, so I wonder if it has anything to do with the mayor as well. I think it's the mayor. Anyway, alright guys, this has been JMO Reacts. If you enjoyed, hit that like button down below and comment any suggestions on what you might want to see me react to next. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.